Good morning. Um, my name is Mark Dacey and I am the proud Principal and Chief Executive Officer of the MPTC Group of Colleges. Now, the MPTC Group of Colleges came into existence on the 1st of August in 2013 and was formed as a result of the merger of Nithbert Talbot College, which was originally two separate colleges until 1999, Avon College and Neath College, and College Powys, which was originally three colleges until 1989, and that was Montgomery College, Radnorshire College, and College Howell Harris. The MPTC group of colleges is now one of the largest groups of colleges and education providers in Wales, and now has an annual turnover in excess of £65 million. Now, our group covers over one third of the landmass of Wales. It operates on four large main centres, namely the Avon College, Brecon Beacons College, Neath College and Newtown College. But the group also has a number of smaller centres which include uh, Pontedowie College, uh, the Kutch in Brecon, My State Construction Centre, Swansea Construction Centre, Llandrin Wells Campus and a state-of-the-art sports academy in Llandarcy Park. Now that means that geographically there are approximately a hundred miles between our furthest campus north and our furthest campus south. However, our eight subsidiary companies also operate at various venues, including Swansea, Bridgend, Llandarcy, Llanelli, Swindon and Portsmouth. Now, the history of each of the colleges that form the group is incredible. Um, Margam Technical College opened its doors in 1952 and that was set up in order to support the Steelworks apprentices. And then we have Ye Wells Hotel in Llandrin Wells and it opened as a, as a hotel in 1907 but became a training college after the war in 1947. It also became a residential school for students who were hearing impaired in the 1950s and it then became the Effie College in 1973. Now Brecon College opened on the 20th of January 1965 and was called College Howell Harris, and Newtown College, which was purpose-built in 1981 after changing from Montgomery College, and Havron, our theatre, opened its doors in 1983. So, as Neath College, in its many forms, is the oldest college that forms part of the group, today we celebrate 90 years of excellence in education and training in this group. Now the college in Neath, where I'm sat here today, officially opened on the 28th of September 1931 and from very humble beginnings we only had five teaching rooms at the time and the college was then called Neath Mining and Technical Institute. Over the last 90 years, the college has seen students achieve what can only be described as incredible success in academic, vocational, sporting and cultural fields. And that success is sometimes things that we want to build upon and continue to build upon year after year in the whole group. How can we achieve this, you may ask? Well, I think it's simple. We have a team comprising the best and most dedicated academic and support staff I have ever worked with in my 36 years working in the post-16 sector. However, the humble beginnings of further education in Neath can be traced back to as early as 1843 when there was a mechanics institute in Neath. So maybe we could say it is our 178th birthday and not our 90th. Now the popularity of the Mechanics Institute meant that the building soon became too small and a larger building was constructed in Church Place in Neath 
and this building still exists today. But it was in 1931 that the needs of the continuing Industrial Revolution led to the official opening of the Neath Mining and Technical Institute. In that first year, there were 50 full-time students and only six part-time day students. But there was over 700 evening students, given a grand total of just short of 800 students. The college continued to grow throughout the 1940s, despite the Second World War. And in 1946, a new engineering and a new science department was established. In 1949, four extra temporary classrooms were constructed and the college was officially recognised and renamed as Neath Technical College. Well, 47 years later, the official merger of Neath and Avon Colleges on the 1st of January 1999 saw the creation of what was called Neath Portalbert College. And it was on the 1st of April 2004 that I became the sixth principal to lead a college with Neath in its title. And in this case, I became the second principal of the merged Neath Portalbert College. Nearly a decade later, after another successful merger, this time with Colleague Powys, so the college become the entity it remains today, the MPTC Group of Colleges. Now, throughout the college's history, we've continued to build our reputation for excellence with outstanding results in A-level examinations and vocational programmes, plus our amazing sporting and cultural successes. Student achievements have improved year on year with our current overall pass rate at an amazing 100%, with top performing students progressing to the top universities in the UK, including Oxford and Cambridge. Now today, the MPTC group of colleges employs well over a thousand people across all of our main campuses and our subsidiary companies. In addition to our campuses across Neath Port Albert, Powys, Swansea and Bridgend, the MPTC group of colleges also operates Fronlass Farm in Newtown, uh, Kevin Brin Farm in Sarn, Haveron Theatre, the Cummer Valley Swimming Pool, the Pavilion Restaurant and Sports Bar in Llandarcy, 113 Art Coffee House and Restaurant in Portsmouth, and the Kutch, our community based venue in Brecon. Furthermore, in a bid for us to reduce our reliance on government funding. About 10 years ago, the group decided to move to a more commercial standing. So the group also operates eight subsidiary companies, LSI Portsmouth, Clendassey Park Limited, uh, Job Force Wheels Limited, Learn Kit Limited, JGR Educate, Green Labyrinth, which includes Engage CRM, MPTC Enterprises and the Cycle Academy Wales. But the college has seen off many challenges in its 90 year history. But the last 18 months may have been the toughest of all. And as we celebrate our 90th year in education, I cannot express how proud I am of all the staff and students at the college it is humbling to see how you have adapted to the pandemic and how pleased I am to see so many students back finally for face-to-face -face teaching on this, our 90th birthday. Thank you very much.